Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. I always enjoy doing these sorts of pizza reviews. I'll say it outright, uh, right off the bat. Pizza reviews, I would say, are my favorite of all the different things that I try out. I mean, I've always liked pizza. Who doesn't, really? So it's always fun when there's a new release that comes out on the pizza side of things. And uh, it's, always, it's always enjoyable to, uh, to try out. This time around, checking out the latest. I can't say the latest and greatest, because I guess that's what I'm here to figure out. But the latest release from Little Caesars. So right around New Year, Little Caesars has brought back the slices in sticks combination, and they've made a few adjustments to it. Now, I first tried out the slices in sticks, as they say, because I guess that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, combination back in 2020 when I think they first released it. What it is is you have yourself uh, something that would be the size of a large pizza. Half of it are pepperoni pizza slices. So you have four slices of the pepperoni pizza. The other half though, right, those are the slices. Now the sticks. Half of it contains eight of their Italian cheese sticks. So you'd have the base of the dough, uh, but then it's kind of like a cheesy bread where you have a various cheese blend on top of it, no sauce, uh, with some Italian seasoning. And it's a combination. It'll come with some dipping sauce. And that way it's like, if you want to get your pizza and your cheese sticks all in one, now you have it half and half. And they try to say it's an affordable deal. You're getting a little bit of everything. Portion size, maybe it's a little less overwhelming uh, compared to having to get the whole pizza and the side, as I mentioned, a little affordable too. So there's definitely a lot of appeal to it. Price for this. All right, so first and foremost, let's just get into how they adjusted it, because that's what the original thing is. Now they have the slices in sticks jalapeno variety for 2023. So the slice part is exactly the same. This has four slices of pepperoni pizza. They're standard hot and ready pepperoni pizza. Then it has eight Italian cheese sticks topped with cheese and jalapeno, as well as Italian seasoning. It comes with crazy sauce on the side for dipping. Price for this, $9.36. And I should mention, because this was information that was provided front and center, it's purely up to you what you wish to do with this, but it has 2,300 and 30 calories. So that's what it has to it. It's a pretty straightforward item. As you'll see in a moment, it has a little bit of everything. You'll see very distinctly separated the pizza and the sticks. And I have the sauce right over here on the side. I'll try to do a well-rounded assessment uh, where I shall try out the pizza. I'll try out the sticks, try out the dipping sauce and uh, see how this winds up being. There's the box. There's the, uh, that beast. And here we go. All right. Take a look at that. I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera, but at least what I could see through the, well, through what I see portrayed back to me, I see that contrast. I just find that interesting from an aesthetic point of view, the contrast between the pizza and the sticks. And it looks to me that topping-wise, there's a good amount of everything. You can see a good amount of jalapeno, a good amount of pepperoni. Looks well seasoned. There's a thickness to it. So far, so good. 
purely at least in terms of how it appears. I think I mentioned the price, but if I didn't, it's $9.36 for this. And also it comes again with this sauce. So what my plan is going to be, I think, because I think it's pretty straightforward, I can smell this little bit of a spicy scent from the jalapeno, very potent. It's not overwhelming or anything, but it's definitely there, definitely discernible. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm gonna try a little bit of everything. I'll take a bite of the pizza, take a bite of the sticks, try it with the sauce, assess the quality, make sure that everything just tastes good, because really, this isn't stuff that you're necessarily going to be eating in the same bite, it's just about having this variety here. So I just want to check everything, assess the quality, see what sort of standard there is, and uh, let you all know if this is worth your while. So that said, we will start with the pizza. Right there, you can see. Standard pepperoni. Greasy and oily, it looks like. So I'll try out the pizza first. And then I'll work my way to the sticks. Let's do it. The slices and sticks, jalapeno edition from Little Caesars going in. In addition to doing these reviews, I also do a podcast and a radio show as well. If you would like to check out some of my work and support what I do and access some exclusive content, likewise, you're always welcome to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash the report of the week. As much as I dislike hawking these sorts of things, uh, you know, you just have to let everyone know that they exist from time to time. So that's just what I'm doing. But if you want to check it out, see what it's all about, welcome to do just that. You can find out more information in the description and the pinned comment. All right, so try it out the pizza, and I'm going to try out the sticks. Getting a view of it there.
Quality-wise, there's not a ton to talk about here. And I don't want to sound like I'm trying to be... I don't really even know the word I'm looking for. I don't want to try to sound underwhelming or anything. Um, but in reality, these are two distinct items. They are distinctly separate, right? Like I said, you're not going to be eating these in the same bite. This is essentially you got pizza and the side, and they remain separate from each other. All right, the pizza itself, I'll, I'll say this first and foremost if you just want to cut to the chase. Everything here is standard and uh, exactly what you would expect from Little Caesars, not deviating from the expected quality. So it's your fast food takeout um, type of food. But if that's what you're looking for and that's what you're interested in, just know it's the basics. It's the basic. The standards that you may expect are being maintained. Uh, nothing extraordinary, nothing extraordinarily special, but it's all right for what it is. Uh, it's, again, exactly what you'd expect. So that's if you just want to cut to the chase if you're pressed for time. But getting into the specifics here, the pizza in and of itself is your standard uh, hot and ready pizza from Little Caesars. There's still a good amount of toppings. You can see that there's a bit of pepperoni in nearly every single bite. It's a very greasy, very oily, very salty pizza. Not too spicy. This pepperoni is more on the salty side from what I've seen. And again, it's just very, very oily. Uh, once you get this, you'll definitely see that the box, the pizza box itself, is going to be drenched in the uh, grease from the pizza. You're going to be tasting that grease in every single bite. Probably a good reason why the calories are as high as they are with this item. But yeah, very greasy and very salty at that. Though the one thing that does help in terms of the pizza, uh, you know, that helps in terms of the greasiness from getting too overwhelming, is the sauce. Now, the sauce, the uh, tomato sauce that Little Caesars uses is always very, very strong and very robust. And it does a good job cutting through all of that grease and that saltiness uh, that really it works. Their sauce is a must, of course, and uh, toward the end I'll try out a little bit of the dipping sauce as well, but that tomato sauce on the pizza, uh, it complements it so nicely, and even though it's still a very greasy, you know, fast food takeout type of pizza, it prevents that greasiness from getting overwhelming. So that's good, it balances everything out. But again, it's your standard uh, fast food, Pizza from Little Caesars, that's all that there really is to say about it. Now, as for the uh, Italian cheese bread, I think they call it. Let me just see what their vernacular describes it. Yeah, it, Italian cheese sticks. Uh, these are the jalapeno ones, of course. They're all right for what they are. One thing, because I like these sorts of cheesy bread things, I, I do. If I am to get a side these days, I'll usually go with that. And sometimes the results can can vary from one establishment to the next. Aesthetically speaking, it looks pretty good. I mean, you could see that there's that good thickness to the dough, that there's a good amount of the jalapenos there, a good amount of the cheese, and a good amount of the seasoning, as you surely could observe. However, the only thing, and I guess this is to be expected, right? You've had things with jalapenos on it before, I'm sure. And you know that in some cases, the jalapeno can be uh, quite spicy, and it steals the show, essentially, right? So all you could really taste, for the most part, is that spiciness from the jalapeno. And I guess that's to be expected, and obviously there's an alternative. If you don't want the jalapeno, uh, then you can just get the regular Italian cheese sticks. And honestly, that's what I would probably do. Because while the spices is, is there and it's strong, it just gets a bit overwhelming and I can't really taste much of everything else. After like the first bite or two, because you bite in, there's one jalapeno, then the next bite there's another, and then another, and then another. And very quickly, the spice builds upon itself, it compounds, and uh, before you know it, you can't really make much of the cheese, you can't really taste the seasoning, you can't really even discern much texturally. All you could taste is that spice from the jalapeno. Not that it's the strongest spice in the world. It's just stronger than everything else uh, that you can that you can really uh, discern here. 
So, I don't know if you could really get the full impact of the cheese sticks. I wouldn't describe this as a negative quality. I would merely say that it all depends on what you're going for with this. If you're looking for that cheesiness and you want to taste, let's say, the garlic of the, uh, the seasoning, and you're looking for something like this, then just go with the original Italian cheese sticks, because you can get that, and don't bother with the jalapeno variety, because again, all you're going to be able to really taste very quickly are the jalapenos, and it's going to be a lingering aftertaste. However, if you're just looking for some spice, or maybe you're looking for the novelty, or maybe you really like jalapenos, then get the jalapeno variety. There's no flavors that really clash here. Everything works in this case. Everything blends together nicely. There's nothing here that tastes what I would describe as bad whatsoever. Ha however, just understand that with the uh, sticks, the jalapenos are going to be the most discernible characteristic by a long shot, and that's all that you're really going to be able to taste. And that just comes down to, is that something that I'm looking for? If it is, then by all means go for it. You're getting a lot of food at a pretty affordable rate. And if not, but the idea still interests you, my personal suggestion would be just go with the original. I think that would be more uh, to your liking if that's what you have in mind. There is no... Because I know they call these sticks, but there is no actual bark in these sticks. Uh, so they are, they are not sticks of the uh, wooden variety, just, uh, just for clarification there. So I know I've been talking about spice and the heat and all that, but there is no flammable risk or any of that. But yeah, so far so good. I'll try out the marinara sauce, see if that makes much of a difference. I don't think it really will, but let's find out. Pairs pretty nicely with the sticks. Does a little bit to quell the spice, not a ton, I would say, but uh, does add a little bit of flavor there. So I would say, most likely, if you want to pair this with something, probably pair it with the sticks, but real quick, trying it with the pizza as well. Very similar with that as well. It's just like the sauce that you get on the pizza, however, uh, just bear in mind it's just going to add to it. It's going to help counteract some of the excessive uh, greasiness that the pizza may have. In and of itself, though, this sauce works with either of these items, be that the sticks or the slices. So uh, the sauce that's complimentary, it comes with it. I would say definitely utilize it. It adds to it. So all in all, Pretty decent for what it is. Nothing extraordinary that, let's say, knocks this out of the park, as you may say, but still, all things together, I'd say it's meeting and maintaining the standards. A lot of food at a pretty decent price. I can't complain. Therefore, out of 10, I'm going to be giving the Little Caesars Slices and Sticks Jalapeno variety a 7.2 out of 10. Yeah, it's pretty good for what it is. If you're interested, check it out and uh, give it a go. That's all that I have for you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.